Okay, race 35. The members hunters chase here from Lark, Lark Hill. It's a three mile six furlong handicap, 0 to 100, as we know. So number one is Keki Rosberg, two 180, three now and then, four Ekir, five last week's winner Ellis Paul, over four miles. Six is Southern Quest for Kevin Mina, seven Scarlet Ridge, eight is Brosiliandi Fine, nine is Muscle Hill, ten Pula, second last week, looking to try and go one better this week and then 11 is Whitney 12 Comanche 13 Christmas area 14 Dan Silly Blue and 15 was Eyecatcher now straight into the first here and we've lost one Ellis Pawns con last week's winner for Carl Arroganti bad luck uh, goes at the first oh we're going to the second and it's Brusselini fine that jumps it first from Dan Silly Blue and the fence we got Muscle Hill and Pula and we've got 180 and I catch the great over the third. Everybody's over that one. And it's still Brosselindi Brosiliandi fine for Doug Warren. And Silly Blue, Muscle Hill, 180 into the fourth. Everybody's over that. And we've got Whitney now and then Scarlet Ridge. I catch the great. They're a length I said ahead for Keki Rosberg and Pula now. And then we've got Christmas Aria, Comanche, Ekier, and Southern Quest all in the rear. But up front is Brosiliandi fine. Still well over three miles to travel. It's brossily Andy Fine. Needs him into the fifth. Everybody's over that. Went from one went through the top of it was Muscle Hill. He's uh, demoted himself to about third or fourth now. But it's still brossily Andy Fine for Doug Warren. The front runner. Unusual. He's about five lengths from Dan City Blue against the fence. So that is Muscle Hill. Further wider still is 180 for Holger. And we've got a couple of lengths to the chasing packs, which include everybody from Scarlet Ridge to Whitney. Now and then, Pula, the grey eye catcher. Keki Rosberg still in there. As is Ekier, Comanche, the, the other white silks. Further wider is Comanche is Christmas Aria. And closer here towards us in the green silks is Southern Quest for Kevin Minahan. They take the seventh. It's a plain one. Everybody's over that as well. But still, Russell Andy fine. Four to five lengths ahead. Still leads. And we've still got uh, a long way to go. We take this small ditch. Oh, we've lost another one there. Southern Quest has gone. Would have been one of the uh, fancied horses. Bad luck there for Kevin. Right. A third of the way through the fences, still 20, 20 to go. We're not a bad pace, this. Russell Lindy fine leading us still. By about five into the ninth. Takes it safely. Now there's a little bit faster behind him. Takes the tenth, jumps that one better. One that went up in the air there was 180. Into the eleventh, they come thick and fast, these fences along the back straight here. Still, Brusselindi fine from 180 and Dan Silly Blue. Then we got Comanche made up a little bit of ground. Whitney on the outside of that and the blue silks. Then Scarlet Ridge and then the grey eye catcher, Muscle Hill, Keki Rosberg. They'll get over that. Ekia and Pula just to the rear at the moment. But Brusselindi fine is still leads. They come up to the finishing post. I'm going to take the 13th. Not unlucky for anyone. They're all over it. Brusselindi Andy finds leads now. Been cut down to just a couple of lengths. Comanche on the outside in the white silks. German colours of 180. These two uh, were progressing to challenge, but Comanche's decided to have a little rest and pull back in. I'm quite happy to let Brosselli Andy Fine lead. And he's led through half the fences as they make the 14th. Everybody gets over that one, including the Southern Quest of the rear without his jockey. So it's Brosselli Andy Fine. Still leads by a couple. So a couple of miles to travel. Jumping's been quite good. We only lost two, which isn't bad. So we've got a Doug Warren one and two at the moment. Brusley and Fine and Scarlet Ridge. All over the 15th. And he takes it well. So it's Brusley and Fine. Christmas Aria, Scarlet Ridge, and now and then. One of three, but in 180s there still. Pula's made up some good ground to challenge for. The minor honours, as, as as we are at the moment, B is very, very wide. And we approach the 16th, and it is Brosley Andy Fine. Jockey on another little look round. Not sure why he's not been challenged yet. 
So over the water. Oh, we're losing one there. Comanche's being pulled up at the rear. So we've gone through a bit of a paddle in the water there. So that's one for the pull-ups. Approach a small ditch. Nobody's over that. Let's do it still. Brossily Andy, fine. With a mile and a half left to travel. Still leading from Pooler out wide. The grey eye catcher has made some uh, eye catching movement there until he took that fence rather slowly and dropped back in to the pack. So the 19th, small ditch. Oh, we've, oh, I thought we'd lost one there. The one that didn't jump. We did. We lost unseated his runners 180. Bad luck, Hogger. Of uh, Moliette Surfer. Over the 20th. Still got another nine fences, and we're still being led by Brosley and Defiant. And the rest of the pack have pretty much all stayed within a couple of lengths of each other. One's going wide here, are obviously Pula. Might be happy. Inside of Pula, I think, is Christmas Aria. And then we've got Keki Rosberg out there. I would have said one's closer to the fence are going to do well as they come into the 21st. And it's Brosseline, Brosseline Handy fine. Jumps it well. As does the rest. Poor jump by Scarlet Ridge at the rear. One that tries to stick his nose out of the package, Muscle Hill now. He's got second on his own. One having a good travel round is Dan Silly Blue. Against the row most of the race. One that's just catching back up into the package, Scarlet Ridge. So, Brosley Andy Fine, still leading us just by a couple now. Nobody wants to take this on. We've only got seven furlongs left to travel. And we take to that OK bar Muscle Hill. Took a bit of a dive at it. He just got himself into uh, into probably an equal share of second. So all very closely closely compact here up the hill. Six furlong pole there. Six still to go. So it's Brosley Andy Fine. Been there since the beginning. Out of the pack comes now and then. And starts to challenge for the fine. Scarlet Ridge has made up some really good ground. Also wants to challenge his stable mate. So it's now and then that decides to take this up from Brusley Andy Fine, who's led them since the beginning. But it's now and then for Martin Leadham into into the ditch. They're all over that. So it's now and then starting to pull away. Scarlet Ridge is the one making up some ground. Out the pack comes Dan City Blue. Out wider still is Pula. There's got to be some work from the ones at the rear. But it's still now and then inside four furlongs now. Now and then from Scarlet Ridge. Dan City Blue making up the best ground. Then we've got Pula, the big grey eye catcher trying to make up trying to make up the the gap as well, but it's now and then being put under a lot of pressure. Three furlongs takes it slowly. Dan Silly Blue jumps it better. Put it on the outside. So down and then. Dan Silly Blue into the 26. They will jump it well. Now and then was quicker. So it's still now and then just by a length into the 27th. They will jump that well. Pula was very slow. Now and then. Dan Silly Blue. It's these two are starting to pull away. Pula's going to get caught wide here again and probably lose a couple of lengths. Brosily Andy Fine is plugging on. I catch her the grey. But up front, it's now and then. Dan Silly Blue. A furlong and a half left to jump. The penalty together. It's now and then. Dan Silly Blue. Pula. It's these three. But now and then. Just keeping his nose in front from Dan Silly Blue. Now and then. Dan Silly Blue. Half a furlong. The final jump. Now and then. Jumps it quicker from Dan Silly Blue. But he's going to plug with it. It's now and then. Dan Silly Blue. It's between these two. It's now and then that's going to take this from Dan Silly Blue in second. Pula runs on for third. Grossily Andy Fine. Great run to end up in fourth after leading for such a long way. So a win for Martin Leedon there. Things on well. Might be a national type, that one. I know Dan Silly Blue is going to the national because he's one of mine and Pula was third. <laughs> for Graham Clutterbuck, also could be a national. So now and then for Martin Leadham takes it off a nice high weight there. Dan Silly Blue second for Stu Gray, third Pula for Graham Clutterbuck, fourth Brosley Andy, fine and lucky Doug. And fifth was Whitney for James Follis.